Hi, I'm Derek Melbert, Technical Evangelist for the AD Solutions team here at Manage Engine. I wanted to give some insight into how AD Manager Plus can give you the upper hand to cleaning up your current Active Directory environment. Now, in Active Directory, we have some very common objects such as users, groups, computers, and GPOs. And these types of objects can often become stale and we want to either disable them or eliminate them from the environment. For example, let's say that we have some users that have been inactive. We have a report that tells you about inactive users, users that haven't really been engaged in Active Directory in a certain time frame. So here you can see that list of users. Well, you may want to actually find users that are kind of active in the environment, meaning that their accounts are enabled, but they haven't been active with Active Directory. So that's why we give you the filters so you can exclude disabled users. And from this, you can also exclude users that have never logged on. Now what you have is you have a list of users that are really potentially active in the environment, but really haven't logged on. This is where you might want to come to those users and now you can either delete the user or possibly just disable the user at this point. Now, not only do we want to clean up users in the environment, we also want to clean up computers that have been inactive. So we have a report for that as well, giving you a very clean, easy view of computers that really haven't engaged in Active Directory in a while. Now, not only do we want to clean up users and computers, we also want to deal with groups and the groups we want to deal with are those groups that don't have any members. Obviously, if a group doesn't have any members, that group can't be used to control access. So what we want to do here is we want to make sure that any groups that have been created after Active Directory, such as this HR password reset and HR project admins, we can create or click on these groups here and we could actually delete them from the environment. This would give us a way of cleaning up our Active Directory environment for objects that really aren't being used. In a like manner, we can also look at GPOs and those GPOs that really aren't being used. So we can look at unused GPOs, GPOs that aren't linked to anything and therefore aren't really controlling any users or computers in the environment. Now, you can clearly see that AD Manager Plus allows us to clean up users, groups, computers, and GPOs what if you wanted to do this in an automated fashion? Well, any of the reports that I've just showed you also can be associated with automation policies. Now, I have an automation policy here, and if we look at the details of the inactive users automation policy, you can see that I can automate the disabling and the moving of users to a quarantine users OU so that every single day, the system will see if there's any inactive users, and if so, we're going to move them. Now, the way that the automation policy works is the policy is the actions, and the automation, here you can see secure inactive users, defines which users, based on a report, that we are going to give to the automation policy. So, as you can clearly see, every day at 5 a.m., I give the list of inactive users from the report to the inactive users policy and those users will be disabled and then moved to the quarantined users OU. So you can see that we have reports that help you clean up Active Directory manually and we have automations that allow you to automate those activities as well. This has been Derek Melber. Thanks for watching.